So this video on art history, I'm going to be talking about the astrolabe. And I thought it'd be fun to do like a quick speed painting of the astro astrolabe that I picked to write about in my paper. Um, this one is in the British Museum right now. It was probably owned by a king back in the day. It was pretty, pretty well defined. Um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. This is a picture I looked at. Um, but it's very intricate, very detailed, and uh, hopefully while watching this you can notice just how, how detailed it is. Uh, I, started, I started to notice that while I was painting, while I was painting every little thing. Um, but yeah, so the astrolabe, it was basically like the pocket watch of the medieval times. It was, you know, before any clocks were made, any watches. So this is what travelers had with them. Uh, basically at all times because it it could tell you the time of day could tell you when the sun would rise and when it would fall um, it was so it was just a metal um, like it was a metal device made out of several discs and what I have right now uh, at the very bottom is just an outline of the constellations of the stars um, this would be etched into the astrolabe so you could always see uh, what stars were where and uh, yeah, so it would it would be able to tell you what stars you were looking at, and not just the time of days, um, but it also had uh, many uh, zodiac names like on the sides of the astrolabe. Uh, when it zooms out, I'll point that out. Um, but right now, on this specific astrolabe, um, there are many designs. Like there's a man on the left, and then there's a bird on the right. On the right, I couldn't find uh, what exactly these meant. Um, specifically on this astrolabe, all the designs on the astrolabes are very different, uh, but for this one I'm guessing that they were zodiac signs. Um, but here is the second layer of the astrolabe. These were basically what you would use for pointers. So this you could turn. You could turn the astrolabe and have it point to what constellations you were looking at. It took quite the professional to learn how to use it because it is very um, riddled with is riddled with a lot of mathematical equations. Um, it was used for several different things, um, but one thing that I found is interesting that I focused on in my paper was that it was used mainly by um, the religious. Um, it was refined by Islamic scientists who needed to know the time of day uh, to pray. Uh, they had a certain certain time, five times a day, where they needed to pray and and as well as what direction to look when they were praying to Mecca, uh, which I thought was really interesting. So they needed this device, so therefore they defined it, I'm sorry, refined it, <laughs> um, uh, so that they could focus on their religious uh, duties. Um, but before that, it was invented in ancient Greece around 4th or 5th century AD. Um, and up until only of the 1800s was when it was replaced um, but for all that time all those years um, it was used but it was a, it's a beautiful device uh, very detailed very intricate and I had a blast learning about it I had no idea they even existed <laughs> honestly but here's the final painting um, hope it does it a little bit of justice but thank you for watching and i hope you learned something bye guys